The other cool thing about Motionbox is that it supports URL. For instance, if I'm typing HTTP bungee.me, which is a, a URL, you know, it's just going to parse it. And there I have the four tracks that you could find on my page. For instance, you have a GL Zelda prototype that looks really cool. I did that 10 years ago or so. It's a, it's a Zelda program. And there's three playlists there that you can access to. And this is a freaking website. So this is a website. So if I'm dragging it, dropping it, dropping it there, I can refresh it. And so anytime there'll be new videos linked in my website, you'll see them there in the form of a video. So that might think that not much, but it's very powerful because you can browse any website and it will just access it. Uh, and you can persist your access to it by just adding the the library, the playlist to, to your library. And for instance, there I could I could just you know search all the Star Wars um, playlist channels, and there's one looks cool. I can edit there. And so every time Star Wars will add something, I can just refresh. In the coming version, I hope to do an automatic refresh. That would be cool. But I can just refresh it and just browse, you know, and just, yeah, watch the latest uh, uh, Star Wars videos. And it also supports local file. I can do open file, open folder, and I can literally open any file in any folder. And it also supports the related files for a given local file. For instance, if you have a local file, uh, I don't know if I can demonstrate that, uh, maybe in the next demo, but yeah, you can access local files too. And so when I'm done with torrent implementation, not only will you be able to access torrent as playlist, but also the tracks inside of a torrent directly. That means you'll be able to share that, you know, the third mp4 file in a given torrent with your friend and you can play it and stream it directly from motionbox right away and the torrent stream i'm going to implement is not going to be based on javascript nor node it's going to be based on low level libtorrent c library that means it will be extremely efficient and fast so pretty cool